Oh, he doesn't have a bald head, yeah. He's balding, but he's still got quite a bit of... He's got lots of thick hair. Yeah, it's great. I have thick hair too, but I'm That's why I got my hat on. I'm kind of losing it. I feel like I actually want to understand it. I want to actually want to understand it. Yep, so that's for mobile phones. Google. And you've got your mind source set up. Are we streaming live now? Bruce, no. Okay. okay, we're in the sport. That means we're going to go to the weather next, which we're going to do okay. live. Okay. So straight after weather, we'll yep. hit this again for intro. Yes. You can you can hear me if you like. To. Sure, I'll yeah. give you a little symbol like that. As top seed Simona Hallop came from a breakdown in the second set. Yeah, good on you. Thanks. <laughs> I'm glad you did that. I'm thinking, that's like I'm thinking about that exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and I've got a hit. So it's already on air? Okay. So you're good to go once, okay. once you, um, she's finished. <laughs> And you'll know because they'll they'll do so that you're up to date with radio national radio news. Yeah. You're up to date with national radio news. Now to triple R weather. It's uh, been a little bit cloudy this morning, but it's opening up to a mostly fine day today. Thanks to a high pressure system keeping skies clear. Tops of 25 degrees for the coast, 28 for our west. Winds are northeasterly between 15 to 20 kilometers on the coast, 10 to 15 knots on our waters, will be, but will become light later this evening. Looking at the forecast heading into the weekend then. The high pressure system will stick around for the next couple of days, slightly increasing the temperatures on Friday and Saturday tomorrow We'll see 27 degrees, 26 for Saturday. Mostly fine conditions though. 18 degrees is the current temperature at the moment. Relative humidity is 67%. And I am honoured to have someone joining me, an award-winning LGBT icon, a soul singer, a dance diva, career spanning four decades, the amazing Shauna Jensen with me this morning. Hooray! And it may not be enough to talk about, but we're talking even more about the red carpet event with the Combination Redemption. We have a bit of a review with the writer from George Basher, as well as first assistant director, including some ac- actors. And a special guest. Who is it? We'll find out a little bit later on. And? And I am going to get to speak to the gorgeous Brody Rainbird from the Wolf Brothers. Very pleased to be speaking to them after their amazing wins at the uh, Country Music Awards. Well, we've got a very special, special uh, gift for you this morning. Claire, happy birthday, sweetheart. <laughs> Thank you so much, Michael and Andrew <laughs> and Jordan and Bruce. <laughs> we have a cake for you, <laughs> Lavington. And a present. And, and a present. I can and pass a present. You the present. Well. Oh, my Lord. Andrew. Thank you so much. That is gorgeous. We'll have this a bit later. Oh, uh, fantastic. <laughs> yeah. And unfortunately, have a Day too, by the way. unfortunately, candles are a hazard in the studio. That's so right. So we'll have it later. Yeah, that's right. And. Uh, and I believe there is going to be some traffic. Yep, I'll just move that. That's okay. Thank you. And then we'll go straight to the, the first up. song, which will be Shauna Jensen's Take Me to Heaven. No, no, no. The other one. The other one. The other one. Yeah, the other one. Just having a look at the traffic, there's been a few traffic light incidences this morning. Blacked out uh, for repairs in Eastern Creek, Great Western Highway at Rudders Road, including some uh, traffic lights out in well, well, sorry, Warunga, Normanhurst, Watara, affecting uh, various locations in that area as well. Nothing to speak of in terms of traffic, uh, other traffic incidents though, but if you'd like to find out more info on traffic, you can visit live traffic 
dot com. That's live traffic dot com. Is it showing up? No. Is it easy? Is it this one? Which one is that? You gotta be that one. All right. Yeah. Well, we are. Uh, all right, well, we are going to play a bit of our, uh, our upcoming guest. It is Shauna Jensen, and this is a track called You Gotta Be. Cool, yeah. So that's the most busiest part, but after that, it's okay. <laughs> That'll be cool. yeah. That's the most busiest part. <laughs> like our live radio. <laughs> and you did well. I jumped in when you needed help, so it was fine. Yeah. Are you new to this? Yeah, you well, are. Also, and we're actually playing something from a whole other different source as well. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's this okay. is why I've taken my time mm. to learn the power. Mm. Yeah. And we've got to oh, mention Bruce too. I've got to mention you, Bruce. We should actually. Bruce is in, live in the studio filming. Yay! Yay! Well, how about when we just finish this, you can back in now to say that, you know, what a great song. And we've got Bruce in the studio. What? Then you can kick off with your guest. Okay. I'm gonna get straight to my guest. Just yeah, after you, you can back announce if you want. Yeah. yeah. No. Oh. I'll try. I'll just go into it, and then I can just mention Bruce later. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. Right. Because yeah. then back announce it. We'll get straight into Shauna. All right. Do you straight into Shauna. Do you want to play the happen. band jingle, or just <coughs> go straight to it? Up to you. Mm, might go straight into straight it. Into it. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Yeah. And when we put, we put this on podcast as well. Right? So, so we can't really see how. As well as well right. as yeah, we can how, see how long. How long? Yeah. So it says one twenty six. Yeah. If we go to um, the file itself, you yeah. can go in the properties. Yeah. But it also says down here four minutes. Four minutes. Oh, yeah. Right. So at this stage, we have about three minutes. Or oh, two. Two, two minutes. Yeah, two and a half. Two and a bit. Yeah. <laughs> Can I just ask you, Shauna, does this song sort of fade out a bit or does it end up fairly abruptly? No, it hasn't. It has an ending. It has an ending. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. And I can cue you when it's coming. Thank you. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> so all you'll be doing then is just putting mine, <laughs> uh, Mike's mic and her right. mic. Yeah. yeah, that's so it. It'll be guest one and HL one. So make sure guest three is, yep. Yeah. That's good, yeah. Yep. That's the first time I've ever used guest three. Oh, there you go. <laughs> well, it's a new experience. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How long have you been doing this? Oh, I've been doing the show for quite a while. It's just um, this. This is new. Yeah, yeah this, this is new. new. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm teaching everyone, so yeah. they, they can do it. You'll be yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've done the training. We just don't you use just it need often. A, you just need a refresher. Yeah. Yeah. It's just all these buttons and, you know, yeah. It can be annoying when you're interviewing, it kind of takes away from I'll take over when you do your interview, so. Alright, we've got, okay. so we've got about a minute left seconds. on. And then we'll go straight into it? Yeah, we'll go straight yeah, into it. Go, yeah, we're going to go, yeah. Right into it. Okay. We love you, Bruce. Long. Long. We've got that over here for you. <laughs> <laughs> That's correct. Alright. The legend, Shauna uh, Jensen. She's so everything. I, I think we've got about 30 more. seconds left, guys. So Close to, yeah. 30 yeah. seconds. You can get oh, 45. Yeah. When there's about 3.40, roughly, we can mm -hmm. start turning them on. If you sure. Want. Yeah. So at the end of the interview, just so you know, uh, Flair, we're going to get, just trying to introduce her other song. Okay, I'm going to put the mics on, okay. Michael mm -hmm. and Shauna. So whatever you say will be going there. So just be aware. <laughs> Okay, they're going on now. Amazing. I'm actually absolutely thrilled to welcome my next guest, singer-songwriter who has toured in the USA, the UK, New Zealand and Australia. She has appeared on TV and in numerous theatre productions, live stage shows, and has been the voice behind hundreds of TV, radio and movie commercials. It's an honour 
Welcome Sean and Jensen to Chitrapla 88.5 FM. Thank you so much. Oh God, thank you. It's so good to be here. Oh my God, happy Valentine's Day. Oh, thanks. Happy Valentine's Day to you too. Anyone special for you? No, (laughs) myself. And me. I love myself and you. Okay. Uh, Shauna, your successful career spans more than four decades. I think we've spoken this morning, 50 years. Yeah, 50 years. Which is impressive. It is. It's pretty impressive. And what are you... I'm going to take you back to the very beginning. Yeah. How did it all start for you? So um, my family, my maternal family, my my grandfather was a, a great singer. And so genetically, I'm quite blessed. So my auntie was a professional opera singer. And... I just, there, it was just something I had to do. I just did it. And so I went in talent to a talent school in the local Presbyterian church. And I was went on television when I was seven. Wow. And sang A Dream Is A Wish Your Heart Makes. And I remember being on that show and they made me walk through this double door into the studio to sing the song. And I, I kind of like use it as an analogy that it was walking into show business and I haven't ever walked back out. Wow. So, yeah. We well, thank the heavens for that. Oh, thanks. Yeah, it's a, it's a good life. I love it. You have sung with the world's best. I'll drop a few names. The okay. likes of In Excess. Yeah. Powderfinger. Yep. Hugh Jackman. Yep. Billy Thorpe. Yep. And Jimmy Barnes. Yep. Legends of Ralph. Yes, absolutely. Oh. Do you enjoy collaborating with your fellow colleagues or... Do your own shows. Well, I love doing my own shows, absolutely. Working with all of those people, like when I worked with Hugh Jackman, I actually worked on an album of his that that never actually got released, but it was going to be an album that he was doing before he went to do The Boy From Oz in New York. And they were going to get all these other famous singers in to do the duets, but they wanted him to sing with somebody, so they got me, which was incredible because he's such a nice guy. And working with all those other people was always in the capacity of being a backing singer. So I'm very good at it. And I'm because of my experience in the studio, so I love being in the studio. Love it, love it, love it. And, um, and most of the time they don't know what they want when you go in to record an album. They, they, they want backing vocals, but they don't know what they want, so they just say, what do you think? So you just, I kind of get to mostly do what you like, which is good. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. With your experience too, yeah, kind of help them out a lot. Well, not? yeah, mm. and that's why they hire you. Mm, absolutely. For the nine, most of 1980s, you are one of the most in-demand jingle singers. Right. Now, can you please explain to me what is a jingle singer? Okay. And can you do me a jingle? So, so a jingle singer is somebody who sings the commercials. And, and in the 80s and the 90s, it was a very different time to what it is now. I don't think you could turn on the television and remember a single ad that is on television these days. But in those days, advertising was very, very, you know, it was a big money thing. And um, they used to spend a lot of money on commercials. So that was where I got the experience working in the studio because you had to be fast and you had to be quick and you had to do it and remember because I don't read music and and I was always up front about that and so they would teach you and you'd have to remember and sing it and because studio time was so expensive you had to do it quickly so that's how what I was doing before I got into doing working with all those other artists so I did campaigns for you know for cars for stores like Suzanne and stores like David Jones and and um, Coca-Cola and KFC and McDonald's and oh, airlines and just everything, you know. So there's no other store like David Jones. And that's you, isn't They're it? the best yeah. in every way. Oh, there you go. Wow. Yes. So I actually do, I actually have a little a medley of all those things that I do in my cabaret show, which is hilarious. <laughs> amazing, amazing. All right. Okay, you are no stranger to television. Uh, yeah. You have appeared in Pop Stars, which yep. was a highly successful television series. I remember that very well. Yeah. And recently on the Channel 7s all together now. Yeah. Do you enjoy being a judge? Do I enjoy being a judge? That's an interesting question. Um, I, I think when I did uh, when I did Pop Stars, I went from being the vocal coach to being a judge, and there was a lot of pressure. It's working in television, in reality television, is not as fun as everybody thinks. But Altogether Now was great. Really like that. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, I enjoyed enjoyed watching that too. And you looked amazing. Thanks. 
Uh, with your diverse experience in the industry, what is the biggest challenges you've had to overcome and has this helped with other side of your business teaching and mentoring? I think the biggest thing that you have to overcome is self-doubt and you have to overcome uh, the what the business, the music business wants you to be if you don't fit the mould. And I certainly don't fit the mould clearly because it's a youth and beauty industry. I've got the beauty, haven't got the youth, never been skinny, you know, so, and that's that's always been a big thing. And, and you know, I it's just, just been my destiny, but I'm very lucky that at 65 years old, I still have a career in music. Mm. So that's, to me, is successful, mm. you know. So, you, you know, it'd be great to be successful like Madonna mm. and have all that, but... I'm also successful. You're amazing. You haven't stopped. Uh, okay, let's let's talk about uh, "Take Me to Heaven," which is a track that was released in 2000, which yep. is produced by the legendary DJ Paul Goodyear. Yes, and it was a banger and it huge was a banger. on the club scene. Uh, yeah. I well, call it the song that never dies <laughs> because it just kept getting um, it just kept getting remixed and remixed and remixed by mm. lots of different people all over the world, and it is a song that has taken me. To all those places, um, you know, in all of the gay clubs and the big circuit parties, Take Me to Heaven was kind of like my introduction. In fact, when I made Take Me to Heaven, I had just made a blues album and I thought I was going down that road and then I discovered dance music. And I was like, I'd like to work with that DJ Paul Goodyear. And then I got asked to work with him and then it took us about a year to, I don't know, get that song together and record it and... And it was mixed, remixed by Wayne G. So. Yeah, Wayne G. Yeah. You've got an amazing back catalogue with Wayne G as yes, well. Yes, I, I mean, do. A couple of amazing Indeed. DJs, yeah. uh, producers. Yes, you know, and, and you know, we, we needed you on the scene. Um, yeah. Just so we're going to play it now, I think. Are, are we going to play it now? Um, mm. No, 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 let's just a couple more, c- oh, couple right. more questions before more you go. more questions. You've got a couple of uh, upcoming shows. I do. I'm currently performing in La Salon Dada at yep. Claire's Kitchen on Sundays, which is an incredible mm show it's an immersive dining art music experience uh, plus i've been doing the aretha franklin show with my band that's at south sydney juniors on the 22nd of march and the 23rd at lazots in newcastle yeah. and that's with a big 10-piece band and that is just oh my gosh it's such a great show so i've been doing that i've doing i'm uh, also doing my own little cabaret show at claire's I do that um, probably once every eight weeks or something at the at Claire's, and plus I'm recording new songs. I've just written a song with my daughter, Beck Jensen. So that's you know really exciting. There's always things to do. Yeah, absolutely. What? How can people stay in touch with you? you do? I have a fan page on Facebook, so yeah. they can find me on Shauna Jensen fan page on Facebook, and um, I think I have an Instagram. I can't remember. I don't know. Remember, I'm 65. <laughs> yeah, you're absolutely amazing. I want to get you to introduce your song, Take okay. Me to Heaven. Okay. And can I, before you do that, I have to say it's been an honour uh, for you to come on the show. Oh, thanks. You are amazing. Thank you. An icon, LGBTI. Thank you. You are a, a soul singer, a dance diva, and uh, you're everything. Thank I'm you, Shauna. I'm every woman. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, go ahead and introduce yourself. Okay, the song. so this is Take Me to Heaven by Shauna Jensen and Paul Goodyear. Thank you for having me to Triple R. Peace out. Great. Yay! Good interview. Oh, you're amazing. <laughs> uh, and Bruce Mott, Woo! thank you so much for coming. <laughs> Bruce <laughs> Mott, thank you for having us yeah. right now. Oh. Oh. Well, we, we, we actually usually did a high five. In the yeah, we usually. We oh, we didn't do that this morning. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is a bang of a track. It is, isn't it? Wow. Yeah, you'll see. Oh, this I is what we read. needed, Sean and Jensen, on that. Do you know. remember that one? Yeah, I do. And there's another song called Every Time. There's so many yeah. questions I didn't even get to. I know. Of course. Well, we That's right, through it goes like that. Yeah. So what we'll do after the song is we'll play ads. Yep. We'll then... Um,